Hey y'all, it's me Butch. Um, I want to show you real quick how to um, access the little screws in your 3M Pro Protects here, or either 3M, 3M or Pro Coms to uh, access the little screws and everything to, um, if you got a problem with the speaker wire, I mean with a wire what have you and things like that. <clears throat> so what you do first to take these gel ear um, pads off <clears throat> I took out the little left and right ones because I put uh, sheepskin in there so what you do is you take your fingers and get in there and you use your thumb to push against this and then the other two fingers that are inside to pull so you put like I said you push with your thumb and you pull with your fingers and it come off like that so basically you're doing that so that was really easy and so what you do after that is you take the foam out. Sometimes if you wear these things for a long time, they will build up sweat. And they can get right behind this uh, foam here. And it'll, be, it'll all be wet right up in there. And in this, most of the time it'll be wet for sweat. So sometimes you gotta let them air out, you know, it depends on how long you wear them. And then, after you take all that out and then let it dry a little bit, these there are three screws here one two three and they're kind of you see they're kind of um, spaced out in like a triangle of course you got your speaker here your driver and you can take that out like that right there you know if you want to take a look at it and see if it's connected well and everything the wires are connected right and everything the only uh, speaker or the driver and you just push it back in there like that and it's good to go no problem whatsoever but anyway it takes like a hex kind of um, uh, key or whatever or, or allen wrenches to, to take those out so you take them you know you take these screws out and everything and what that does that loosens up this whole part right here and you can see where there's like a little seam right here and it takes this whole part off and separates it from this part right here now of course if you want to avoid the hassle of working with that and everything with them connected you can just take it off like this right here pull it straight out see and you do the opposite to put it back on you just take it and snap it back on like that but you got to have this part up and down against this part right here so it won't come off like that but if you turn it like this it will all you got to do is pull straight up put it on the same way just like that and so you do the same right here just have it straight up and down and straight up and down like that so yeah now you get that freed up and what I do is I have a um, headband wrap so what I got what I would probably do is take the headband right up off and take it off the headband and do the same thing with this side that way I can kind of not have to worry about yanking it everywhere and working on it what have you so like I said you take a hex screw bit on a driver bit or an allen wrench what have you stick it in there and loosen it and everything and this whole part right here will come off this whole thing and that's where the electronics are this part right here is for where that's where the sweat gathers so it doesn't mess with this part just the electronics of course, you got your battery thing here and all that and other. And uh, anyway, it's real simple, real easy. See, that's the reason why I do that. Take this off. And snap that back on. Push that back like that. And there's your speaker, uh, your microphone that picks up sound. And you can tell just by looking at it, it looks kind of awkward. That's the canter of the, um, the ear muff, the, um, the ear cup rather going over your ears. So when you put them on, it kind of tilted a little bit to fit your ears better. But anyway, that's how you do that. That's how you get access to your electronics. To use the to go through these little, three little screws here. Undo them. And again, your speaker driver comes right out. Don't want to yank it too hard though.
don't want to wire us loosen up we're gonna have to solder them back together and that's that's one way you can check to make sure the wires are okay there um, for your speaker if you're not getting sound to your ear and so and also too they're lined up with your ear canal so this right here we uh, lined up with your um, your left ear canal the other ones are lined up with your right ear canal so you got this big old part of your ear here and then you got a hole in your ear ear canal and that's what that lines up with so this is the left side and this is the right side that's why they got the little foam pads in there and it shows you which side is which and then also the canter of course you can know this is right how it leans to the right well it kind of leans back at the top and leans left to the bottom that way it goes on your right ear another one goes on your left ear because it kind of leans at an angle this way anyway just thought I'd show that real quick and hope that's helped somebody um, I really don't want to get into the electronics just yet on opening this thing up because I'm afraid I might mess up something I mean I'm not really afraid but you know anyway just just ain't got it really a reason to do it yet um, I don't notice any kind of buzz I'm carrying on in my headset so um, anyway just gonna keep it like that for now so anyway that's how you do that